A lot of the inspiration from my work comes from scientific concepts with the, the healing uh, processes. And I use a lot of emotional concepts that I integrate in my work. And then uh, the ideas of revealing and the concealing and the reconstruction and deconstruction of the pieces. So they're, especially with my new work, they're a big part of how I create my pieces. I started to develop that kind of body of work when I did my undergraduate degree at Australian National University. A lot of the ideas were based around um, the idea of healing from grief. So it's been a lot of my personal kind of journey through uh, the loss of my dad when I was really young. Um, so I kind of started using uh, cold working or carving as the idea of how you wound and scar the glass. And then I started to uh, fill them with powder and frit and put it back in the kiln. It's kind of like um, the idea of how physical wounds heal. Uh, and then I also started integrating drapery into my work, was inspired by the idea of how it gets used in mourning ceremonies or cemeteries for like the sculptures in cemeteries and stuff. So that's how I kind of started developing my works that I have like the idea and then I often connect the idea and the process. So I develop my process around my ideas. So with the hot casting, I normally start um, uh, setting up in a hot job and then uh, bringing the plaster and the traper with me into the hot job. And then I have um, was mixing the plaster and dip the cloth into the plaster and then um, I had like some metal frames where I put the drapery where I laid the drapery in it so that created those abstracted textures that um, I wouldn't have otherwise become with just using other processes that are more controlled um, and then I took those um, textures into the mold room and I took um, rubber molds of them and then uh, I poured waxes and then I made plaster silica molds and made casting molds out of that. I think for me the pâte de verre was a big part that you can actually create that kind of um, fragility like sometimes um, so with a lot of my edges I left them I leave them raw and then I co-work some areas of the pieces, which become really like refined and perfect. But then having that kind of crisp edge at the corner kind of adds that little tension to it. And then also, I think Pativer is a good way of um, really um, emphasizing on the different shadings and colors, which you actually can't really do with just using sheet glass or casting processes. I kind of see it more as like I make my pâte de verre piece and then that's my blanket and then I repaint it, refire it and then uh, repaint it again and refire it again. So I kind of build it up a bit like a painting process. So that's been a new area for me that I've been exploring here to actually use painting processes as the inspiration for creating works.